Did you know Kate Bishop has a Cree soul bow? Kate Bishop will box out people way bigger than her physically because she doesn't care and because she got fighting skills and fighting speed. It's amazing to be a human in Marvel because with enough hard work and dedication, you can bridge the gap to where you can kind of become superhuman with fighting speed, agility, just with hard work and dedication and training. She's one of those characters I would consider in the younger side of the Avengers and has ridiculous accuracy with all different type of trick arrows. Physical strength is pretty decent for a human, more than you would expect, but let's get it. How strong is Kate Bishop though? Being a protege of Hawkeye has its perks, doesn't it? It would be so awesome to train my way up to superhuman levels. She's one of those characters where she actually had a decently rich family when it comes to money, but she was actually held ransom and kidnapped and etc. But then the Avengers ended up saving her. That's when she kind of got inspired by Hawkeye, considering the fact that he doesn't have no superpowers. So it kind of means you can kind of work your way up to being a superhero without no superpowers. See how she's looking at the arrow curious at a young age. She even got some arrows given to her from Captain America that belonged to Clint Barton. But how strong is Miss Kate Bishop? People tend to underestimate the skills of hand-to-hand -hand of archer-type characters. Punch this guy out, kicks a hole in a wall. Extremely skilled beings like hand ninjas to get kicked out. Did you know her skills were so impressive that they even gave her some nickname? Like Weapon Woman or Task Mistress? Like Task Master? Are you kidding me? Like because of her photographic memory to some degree? She punched Hawkeye one time. Kate, stop trolling. Kicks down doors. Of course, she's in a world with super beings, so she can't make excuses just because she doesn't have power. Fighting super powered beings like Mr. Hyde, for example. But when it comes to standard gear, she has an EMP arrow, sonic arrow to try to determine heartbeats in the next room. She doesn't just use bows and arrows, but crossbow bolts. She says she has EMP crossbow bolts as well. Foam arrows to save Hawkeye on this particular occasion. Trick arrow. Boxing glove arrows. You have fire powers. These foam arrows can help fight you. Sleeping gas arrow. If all goes south, she has backup stuff in her hair. Like literally a flashbang bobby pin. Smoke arrows. Zip line arrow. Flashbang arrow. Arrows that can burn down your home. Seriously, a USB arrow? <laughs> I will admit this is kind of weird writing how Arrow EMP actually work on Iron Man's suit. This is totally something Iron Man would have uh, prepped for in his suits. You wouldn't say this is the best writing moment. Fire enemies don't fight her. She has a fire extinguisher arrow, but that's none of my business. Every character has to have some form of electricity. Electric arrow, right? You know, you got to have your basic explosive arrows to blow up a robot on more than one occasion. Even while under 12 feet of rubble, she has arrows that can blast a way out. 12 feet. Just the standard power for arrows without explosives. It's still above normal to take out a bike or take out a robot with some arrows. On top of a powerful arrow, she has absurd marksmanship, aka aim. Like this is precise aim, yikes. Like literally around your area, missing it on purpose. Clipboard and pieces of paper out of the air she can shoot. Multitasking, shooting two arrows at once in two different areas. Absurd precision. Even firing four arrows at once, hitting bullseye in all kinds of different areas. If you rob in the store, she can just pin you to the wall. In this occasion, it was staring down Deadpool. A super soldier legitly. Don't you love when she got the accuracy to hit a target? On the money. Aim is so precise she can split her own arrow shooting the same exact spot. Both of y'all gunmen, she only has a bow. Y'all get hit in the eye still. Y'all get tagged in the back of the neck. Seven arrows to pin you to the wall accurately without hitting your flesh. That's accuracy. Thirteen bullseyes in a row. Just plenty of occasions of her accuracy hitting you dead in the mask. You see these little small squares on these guys' masks? She hit them dead on because of accuracy. She can shoot you in non-lethal ways just in a way for you to make your weapon fall. If you're more durable than normal, it don't matter. She doesn't mind disarming Kang the Conqueror. She's even a helpful aid in messing up his armor. She has throwing accuracy like throwing throwing knives. For example, when it was locked up, through a bobby pin to flip a switch to get out. Doesn't need a bow and arrow to pin you to the wall. Can just throw arrows to pin you to the wall when she wishes. Stupid fuse box, she threw a dog collar to accurately mess it up. She has your standard hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Oh yeah, by the way, her and Clint Barton have a cool relationship. She's gotten little scuffles with people like old man Logan, staggering them here. Hand-to-hand -hand skills can take out several shield agents on her own. She can handle her 2v1s or 3v1s. The amazing things you can do with hard work and dedication. All these grown behind men get messed up by one girl because of her training and fighting skills. During her occasional bullseye swings into another opponent. Even the OG Hawkeye is impressed with her fighting skills. See how he's dressed up as Ronin? Yeah, she's not afraid to, to box it up melee style or just arch it up either. Her hand-to-hand -hand skills are something that should not be slept on. Just like how Hawkeye can use a sword and all kinds of different melee weapons, she's not afraid to pull it out the sword either. I mean, heck, she even has fencing lessons, you know, just get her an idea of her sword combat or melee combat, you know. In this occasion with Kane, you can see her holding or wielding a sword. 
She's not afraid of using weapons outside of her comfort zone. Still can use this type of melee weapon. They're called battle staves. When it comes to her other type of gear, she has like arrows. She has stuff to track you, like trackers. She got like a special bow, like a Cree soul bow. Far more powerful than your average bow and arrow, obviously. Several cult beings she can use this soul bow with. Take them out in quick succession. She even got like the special bow of Shiva, giving her basically energy projection type of projectile. You can't give an archer energy type bow and arrow type construct type stuff. That's broken. It's even durable enough to block swords if she needs something to block with at the time. Street Tears and Marvel has ridiculous fighting speed. Kate Bishop is no exception to this. Plenty of occasions dodging an arrow. The same goes for Pistol. To get a good idea of her fighting speed, beings that can react her arrows this close range, despite beings being this fast to react her arrows, her fighting speed without arrows is still capable to be able to dodge an opponent this big and strong, even though they physically got the strength advantage by a lot. They got to use their brain, IQ, and etc. to get the advantage over such opponent. When she feels guilty about shooting somebody that, that doesn't have an armed weapon, she will give you the armed weapon, and just before you grab the armed weapon, she shoots you so she can get her consciousness in check. Plenty of occasions of avoiding pistols around this pillar these type of beams she can avoid fire beams from a scroll what do you know another occasion of evading gunfire during her fight with mr hyde notice that her arrows can pierce him if it wasn't for her fighting speed she would have been done for him because this guy has the strength advantage over her it shows her competence that way but i will admit she has limited appearances did you know she was this cool respect her maybe she doesn't have the overpowered arrows like hawkeye does but she's still cool but i also got to give a quick shout out to those that took the time to donate to the channel helps out a lot believe it or not respect kate bishop I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.